Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is anonymous function, where do you use it, and what is the use of anonymous functions. So, till now, we have been learned how to declare a function and how to specify arguments to the function. Now, we will take a look at what is anonymous function. When we specify function, we specify both body and identifier. But JavaScript support anonymous function which don't necessary to have an identifier. You might be wondering how will we call the function if we don't specify the name for that function. Now wait a few minutes and keep this topic aside and talk about expressions. Now we know that an expression is something that evaluate to a value. And we know that functions are values like any other in JavaScript. You can specify function as an expression. Anonymous function help us to do that. So when you declare a function as expression, you don't need to specify identifier for that function. When you use function as expression, a function expression can be assigned to something or call immediately. We will create a variable and assign function as expression. Let's consider the following example. So I will create a variable here. So I will say constant f is equal to and then we specify function here. So I will say function parenthesis and just specify the body. So here is your statements. So the outcome of this function is same as if we had declared the function in the usual way. In this function, we have f variable as identifier that refers to the function. So if we wanted to call this function, just use f and specify parenthesis like this. Right? The only difference is that we are creating an anonymous function and assigning it to the variable. Now you know that what is anonymous function and how do you use it. But now we just wanted to understand why we need to use anonymous function. Now there is a different situation where you need to call function immediately. Anonymous function is used as an argument or as a method or to create function properties in the object. Just like this. In this example, we will understand how to use function in the object property. I will declare an object here. So I will say constant O is equal to and in the body of that object, I will specify first property. So I will say name colon and in the double quote, I will specify anonymous function. Now I will declare a second property. So I will say invoke. So invoke is the name of my second property. Then I will specify value for that property. So I will declare a function here. So I will say function. And in the body of that function, I will specify return keyword with some message. Right? And after that, I will here say console.log and call the second method, which is invoke and specify parenthesis. We specify parenthesis here because we need to call the function. Now, what would be the result? So when you execute this statement, you will get you called me message on the console. In this example, we had created an object with two properties name and invoke for the invoke property we had specified function expressions and to call this function you need to specify object and call its property with parenthesis if you don't use parenthesis then this would be return the reference of the function you can do the same thing with shorthand syntax just like this so I will just remove the colon and function keyword like this. So when you execute this code, you will get the same outcome. 
The reason behind this, we use method in the object. In ECMAScript 6, this is a new shorthand syntax for methods. So here, invoke is the method and to call this method, we use object.method name with parenthesis. We will understand method and object in future lectures. But just for now, keep in mind to declare a method, just use the name of that method and specify body, just like the function body. Right? That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.